Hello everyone. Our today's topic is we use electricity. We will be learning about where the electricity we use comes from and how we use them. Electricity is one of the most important sources of energy. Many objects that we use in our daily life need electricity to work. Whether it is a bulb, a fan, a TV, a computer, an iron, a refrigerator, an air conditioner or a cell phone. Without it, we will be hot, bored, sitting in the dark and have no way to keep our food cool. Where does the electricity we use come from? There are very large electricity production stations which produce electricity using water, wind, coal, natural gas, etc. These stations are also known as power plants or power stations. The power plants are located far away from our homes. How does electricity reach us? There is a huge network of wires and electric poles spread between the power stations and our homes. The electricity travels all the way from the plant to the electric switchboards in our homes. So, when you push a button on the switchboard, a bulb or a fan connected to it turns on and when you plug a wire of a machine in a socket, it starts working. For example, when you plug in a toaster, it turns on and starts toasting your bread. Do you know, every month your parents pay to the electricity company for the amount of electricity used at your home. There is an electric meter outside of your home which keeps a track of how much electricity you have used. The longer you use lights, fans, TV, computer, or any other electric device, the higher the electric bill will be. What are batteries? Batteries are storage devices which store electricity using some chemicals. These batteries are used to charge some electric devices such as cell phones, tablets, flashlights, some toys, 
etc. Cars use batteries too. They have a big battery which powers the engine of the car and then the engine generates energy for radio, lights, air conditioning and other cool features. We hope now you have learned about the electricity we use. If some concepts are not clear, then replay the video again and again. Still, if you have some questions, then ask your teacher.